So let's focus on partner level targeting. The available categories are inventory source, content with a few options, audience with a few. Partner level inventory source targeting. In this slide you can see inventory source targeting available at partner level. This is the partner and this is the targeting. At partner level go to targeting under partner settings. When you click on this you can see inventory source targeting. So you can see same options like quality, public inventory, deals and inventory packages and groups. Here one note is available. I am going to explain it more. So how inventory source targeting at partner level impact below levels. We shall look into that. It is mentioned as a note here. Changes to these settings at partner level. Changes to these settings will be the default for new insertion orders and line items and won't impact existing items. I repeat, changes to these settings will be the default for new IOs and line items and won't impact existing ones. So what exactly it means? So we shall take an example and look into that. So this is the DV360 hierarchy where it has partners, under that advertisers are created, campaigns, under that insertion orders, clients, creatives. Let's assume at partner level, when you create, you given 20 exchanges. When you start creating the campaign, you create advertisers, then campaigns and insertion orders. So what happens is, insertion orders and line items will also inherit. Below levels inherit the settings from the above level. So since partner level is targeted with the 20 exchanges, the same will be repeated at insertion order and line item level. As per our previous one, so it is mentioned changes to these settings will be default for new insertion orders. So whatever it is created under these partners, whenever something is new is created, the same settings will be affected. Let's assume once after creation of this, after a month, what I did, I just added uh, 10 more exchanges. So when I add 10 more exchanges, what happens? Let's see. So I created another two advertisers. Under that I created campaigns. Now while I creating new IOs and line items. So these 30 exchanges will be inherited by IOs and line items. Whereas existing one. So this is existing one. This is new one. New one will inherit all the exchanges. 30 exchanges from the partner level. Whereas old one existing one will not inherit. Because as per the notes mentioned here. Changes to these settings will be default for new one and won't impact existing. It says, so this is how it works. When you give some targeting, inventory source targeting, targeting some exchanges, what happens is existing will not get affected whereas new one will get affected. Affected in the sense new one will inherit. So with this what happens is we can save lot of time and money. So no need to add. 10 more exchanges every time when you create new IOs. So it will automatically get inherited. Let's look at the other targeting categories at the same partner level. Other targeting categories like content targeting, audience targeting and technology targeting. Partner level settings of other categories is shown in this picture. Click partners under that partner settings you can see the part targeting under that you can see various targeting options geo environment position channels and urls as i mentioned geo environment position and channel urls geo falls under audience targeting whereas environment position and channels and urls falls on the content category content audience and technology we said right since a partner level has only content and audience so how this targeting option will impact lower levels of dv360 hierarchy so in the note it is mentioned two points changes to channels and urls will be applied to existing and new items so something it is mentioned right so we will look into that the so first one is changes to channels and urls will be applied to existing and new items and B it is mentioned as changes to other options will be default for new items and won't impact existing items. So what exactly it mean? 
let's look into that first one it is given as changes to channels and urls will be applied to existing and new items that means let's assume we have added three channels and 1500 urls at this partner level only channels and urls will have this effect whatever it is mentioned rest of the things will not impact existing one at partner level i have given three channels and 1500 urls channels in the sense list of or bulk of urls that is taken and we create with some name like 100 at 1000 uh, urls we will add it into one channel likewise there are three channels and 1500 separate urls so i targeted uh, at partner level whenever i create new ones so below levels gets inherited here you can see locked for channels and urls once i add it at a partner level what it shows here is it is locked for advertisers campaigns ios and line items for advertisers campaigns insertion orders and line items for now let's focus on insertion orders and line items and advertisers so after a month there i need to add few more channels as per the client instructions so three channels is already added 1500 urls are already added extra what they asked me to do is two channels extra and 500 urls extra that means overall it should be five channels and 2000 urls now three channels and 1500 urls change to five channels and 200 2000 urls so in this case as per the note changes to the channels and urls will be applied to existing and new one so this is existing one and this is the new one so existing will also get changed previously it is three channels and 1500 now since i changed at partner level i have changed from three to five channels so even that settings got applied for existing as well as a new one likewise when i create a new one again so the same thing will be applied below levels in the dv360 hierarchy under the same partner and another point it is mentioned changes to other options that means apart from channels and urls under this partner level except channels and urls other options in the sense geo environment and position changes to other options will be default for new items and won't impact existing one let's assume a geo i given us as a targeting and when i create advertiser and below levels this targeting is inherited as geo us now what i did after a month while creating a new campaign i added uk as extra what happens is this extra region which is targeted which extra country extra geo targeting is inherited for a new one whereas existing won't get affected so existing follows with the same us and whereas for a new one will follow us and uk because it is mentioned ad changes to other option will be default so geo is other option geo is other option so changes to other options will be default for new items and won't impact existing items so existing items is not impacted whereas it is impacted only new one again whenever i create with the same one so it gets inherited by it for a new one whereas old one will not get inherited likewise the targeting works at partner level